What is going on everybody man? King Recon here. Very early this week. You know, I know that um, usually we get our chapters tomorrow, but we came out a day earlier. And the reason for it is because next week is Golden Week. Uh, so that's going to allow everyone, uh, all of our precious manga creators and everyone over there in Japan to have a lovely week to spend time with their family and whatnot. Um, it's always that one time of the year that I feel like just sneaks up on us. Because we know when it is every single year, it's towards the end of April, beginning of May. But it just always catches me off guard, man. At least for me, it always catches me off guard. So the fact that we're already in Golden Week is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. It just shows you that we are 25%. That's the way I look at it. We're over 25% uh, done with 2019. Because that's just, uh, the, we're like, a, I'd say like 30 something percent <laughs> done with 2019. But... Regardless, man, we're here for a new for a new chapter in the best-selling manga in history, chapter nine hundred forty-one, uh, Ebi Sue Town's most beloved, and um, we see right here the cover page they do in almost every year, where the Golden Week, uh, the what is it, the magazine before Golden Week usually has every single character from from what I can recall in uh, in my years of reading manga weekly, specifically from Jump. They usually do this uh, for these kinds of uh, before holiday magazines. Well, they're inclu well instead of focusing on one particular series to to take over the 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 cover of Weekly Shonen Jump, they give it to the entire to every single character or every single series that is in the magazine. So we see a couple of them right here. I recognize uh, that dude from what I've seen from Jujutsu Kaisen. I still haven't read that. But I recognize the dude right here on the right from that. Yeah, the dude from Dr. Stone as well. Still haven't read that. Uh, then we have Asta, Tanjiro. Uh, we have my girl Emma. Soma. We have some in the back. We have um, uh, the guy from Hino Maruzumo. I forgot, I forgot what his name is, but I really enjoyed what I read from that. And then we have uh, Jump's current three best-selling series in... Uh, Deku to the left, Hinata to the right. I cannot wait for the return of Haikyuu, man. I cannot wait for the return of Haikyuu. I'm an anime only for Haikyuu. I did, I was on the manga for a little bit, but I think it was after the season three match in the manga. I decided that I was going to stay anime only because at the time we were at the end of season two with that legendary Awa Josai match uh, with Karasuno. And I was like, you know what? The, the anime for Haikyuu was special. I'm going to stay anime only with this, man. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold on to that after season four, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And then, right, of course, we have the king, the best-selling manga in history, the one and the only One Piece, man. Right there in the middle, uh, my boy Luffy, chillin', shield in hand right here. And he's got that blade out here in the other looking sick man so we've got all of our uh, jump series right here let's go on to the next uh, page oh crap don't tell me that my computer's doing this now see man this is why I'm glad that I use JBox because with JBox I'm easily able to minimize out of the thing where my computer starts st hey, because hey I know my computer man I know my computer look at this here we go let's hit that i because i was running into so many issues whenever i was reading my manga on this thing this was specifically back during the kingdom days um or the kingdom catch-up days i decided to install a software that would immediately kill anything that's that's making my computer run slow and so that's helped me so much during while doing these reactions man i promise you that has helped me so much while doing these reactions so let's go ahead and get right into oh my god God, yo, look at this color page! Bruh, hold on, man. Hold on, now, now y'all know me, son. I'm, I'm, I'm the biggest Nami Tard on this side of the hemisphere. But Robin, ooh, my girl's out here looking nice. And then we got uh, Brooke. <laughs> this man Brooks out here trolling. Uh, then we have Luffy. It looks like he's in the Gomu Gomu no Sepuri. Well, he has the fist right here in gear third, end of the sea. And he's doing a thumbs up, and he's looking forward this way. 
Yo, yo, Luffy looks fresh, man. Then we got Zoro right here, Usopp on the bottom, with uh, Brook under the under the road, with the like the road covering like some sort of rug, <laughs> as if it's somebody ran him over and he's dead and he's over here haunting uh, the rest of them using his ability. And then we have Frankie over here on the right, looking like he's a character straight out of Borderlands. We have Chopper. We got we got my girl Nami. Who's also looking really nice. And then we've got Sanji, man. With you to anywhere. And then we have up here, Good Place, Cross, Somewhere, Hell, Home, Cotton Candy, Come On, Arcadia, and Beach. Man, dude. Shout out to my girl Robin, man. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk, bro. Shout out to Robin. Goodness gracious. That is an excellent color page. Hold on, let me, let me go back. Let me go back. I've got to save this. This might have to be the new, uh, the new computer, whoa, freaking home screen coach. <laughs> this man, Brooke, is a troll, bro. <laughs> this man is under the road, and the road is covering him like it's some sort of rug. <laughs> Wano country, the flower capital. The capital is roaring. There has been an accident, no, an incident. A forest fire is ravaging Kuri. And at long last, the witching hour boy has been captured. The, the witching hour boy? Lord Orochi, I'm deeply sorry for your loss, but please allow me to speak with you about the witching hour boy. Be quiet, and I do not care about that petty thief. I understand, but his true identity is more important than you might think. His true identity? How could you possibly understand how I feel? I lost the love of my life. There is no one else in the world as beautiful as her. Give her back to me. You know, he, he still believes that Komodosaki's dead. I may be out of line, uh, but if someone who rebelled against you was allowed to live, your dignity and reputation would have been in ruin. Man, dude. It's like you're getting two sides of the, of, of the, of the coin there. But, like... Orochi, Orochi's an idiot, all right? After, after after what he proceeded to do, I mean, it is his fault. It is his fault. You know, he, of course, he's coming to regret the decision later on, but it is his fault. I mean, it's... it's, And I understand that these rules were put into place before he was put into power. I'm, at least I'm pretty sure that's the way that it is. But still, man. I mean, it's his fault. He, he's the one in charge. He is he, He's the one on top. If you wanted to let something slide, you gotta let it slide. And and as um, I call him forehead dude is uh, from the from, from the Oni Wabanchu is is clearly stating that you know if someone who, who rebelled against you was allowed to live your dignity and reputation would have been in ruin. That is also factual. But then Orochi has to take into consideration what what what, what does he value? You know, does he value um, uh, something so, something to him that that, that he truly loves because he says the love of his life, or does he value his reputation? You know, as as the Shogun. You have to pick one, bro. In situations like that, you have to pick one. So it's his fault. He made the decision. And uh, the consequences are, are are clearly showing here. In retrospect, Kyoshiro made the right choice. And thank you for showing yourself to hear me out. The hero of the poor, the witching hour boy, is currently tied up in the Rosetsu District's prison. But his true identity is... Why is he alive? Who are they talking about? He's currently tied up in the recess of the district's prison, but his true identity is... And it shows him shadowed out. Why is he alive? He. I mean, we have been hearing about the switching hour boy for so long. That obviously has to be somebody important. And this man is shook. Yo, Orochi's panting. He's like, yo, why is he alive? And I always love whenever they do that, um, the panel of showing uh, showing the castle. But in this case, it's really nice from a, just a, uh, excuse me, from a paneling perspective. Uh, you have a uh, forehead dude with the anal ears going on and telling him, like, yo, uh, in respect, you should have made the right choice. And thank you for showing yourself uh, to hear me out. And then we have another panel of him of showing it like from behind forehead dude looking at Orochi. He's explaining the situation. 
and we get to look, you know, you can, just, you can just see the way the anime is going to handle it. So they're going to do that one sound effect with the whoosh, like the whoosh, and it's going to show his true identity is, and then like nothingness. You're going to hear the birds chirping. You're going to, you're going to see the outside of the, of the place. Look at those right here. We're not going to hear a single thing. And then why is he alive? And I always enjoy how Oda is able to have that effect on something like this. So I'm looking forward to seeing who that character is. It, it definitely has to be somebody important. Because we've been hearing about the switching our boy since literally the beginning of, of the arc. So he has to be very important. What shall we do? Oh, I thought we were about to switch to something else. Because whenever I saw that uh, that line right there, I was like, oh, I could have sworn we we're going to move over to something else. But usually it's whenever that, um, that white line is on the other side of the page that we move on to another scene. What shall we do? We will make an example out of him. I want you to film and broadcast it for the whole country to see. They're going to film and broadcast it for the whole country to see. So they're going to try to make an example of this dude. Preparations for the broadcast have already been made, my lord. Then you have Kyoshiro. Chilling. Chilling! Yo, Kyoshiro's my boy, man. Komurosaki's funerals today. I had fears that such a large gathering would lead to mayhem, so I prepared it in advance. Then the witching our boy shall be laid to rest alongside Komurosaki. He will be the offering to her grave. The two most beloved people in the capital being buried together. What irony. Let us go and watch it in person. Ready the horses. So Orochi, Kyoshiro, and the Onuwabanshu are heading towards Komurosaki's funeral. Which of course, uh, something has to be prepared there. Whether, uh, like we were talking about before, uh, some of you brought up the possibility of a body double. Like a body double being placed in in um, in the coffin to where it would... I don't know how the flagmars are going to do it, but it, it definitely is possible because it's, it's one piece. So we could have a body double in there that uh, that is currently taking place Komurosaki. And then, of course, we're going to have the switching hour boy. And according to them, these are the two most beloved people in the capital. And I definitely know why Komurosaki is. But then the witching hour boy... Fascinating. So whatever takes place there is going to have to be huge because if they're going to film and broadcast it to everybody and we're going to have all these big players there, that is Oda telling us that whatever's going to take place here in this funeral, especially with how long we've been knowing about this funeral, we've been knowing this funeral is going to take place in chapter 233 or 200. 200, man. About all the way back in Alabasta. Uh, what's that called? Uh, chapter 200, or, uh, 933. Because 932 was whenever Kyoshiro cut Komurosaki. And right after we learned about the funeral, which was 933. So we've been building up this funeral. We've been continuously hearing about it for the past eight chapters. So obviously something big was going to happen. But now, if they're going to film and broadcast it, and like I said before, we're going to have these big players, uh, some, something huge is going to have to go down. There's something huge or some big revelation to them or some big revelation to us. Uh, it's going to happen here. This might even be, uh, you know, one of the big climax moments of Act 2 that we're going to be uh, seeing here because it appears that Oda is continuing this storyline to possibly, uh, to have the climax of that funeral happen at the same time of possibly what's going to be going down in Udon with with Big Mom and uh, and and possibly Queen. And what's going to be going on there. So because of the way that Oda's been telling these stories um, in, in concession the past couple of chapters, I think that's where he's going towards. I think Act 2 is going to be reading, re reaching its climax point with these two uh, plot threads uh, eventually. Uh, and we're n not necessarily ending, but reaching a certain revelation point to where we're going to find out either two big reveals or two big moments will happen right next to each other that will... Um, that will kick us into gear into Act 3. So we'll see what happens there. Exactly, see? We're on the prisoner minds. Because we continuously keep going back. It, as much as we, you know, look at some other things as well, such as the Zoro and, and Hiyori plot, and then we see what's going on over there with Law and, and the fact that he has to go get Beppo and the squad, and then we see Usopp and Nami, and then um, uh, Sanji and, 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 and rest of the company. Uh, as much as we keep seeing of that, the main two threads that we continue to go back to in these past couple chapters is Udon and the Flower Capital and this Komurosaki funeral, which has been built on and built on and built on. So I'm telling you, those two things are going to be the big two key moments that are going to lead us into Act 3. Udon the Prisoner Minds, that can't be true. 
Please don't tell me such an ill mannered joke at the start of uh, at the start of the day, Kaido son. Oh. <laughs> you all about to say Kaido wants round two? Kaido wants round two? No, no, but he's not dead in Mushi. He's chilling. It is the truth. Oh, Komurasaki done. Oh, he just found out that Komurasaki died. Or, quote unquote, died. Connect to the filming pond snail and see for yourself, Wororo. The filming pond snail? No, they're already recording it. Hey, show the flower capital. Yes, yes, I shall do so, I shall do so immediately. This is bad. He found out about Komurasaki. Oh, what's the matter? Hey, balloon. Come on, come on. Aren't we gonna start today's battle? You don't tell me this man Luffy's about to go in a tank man again, bro. My man is filled up and ready to go again. I don't remember them being that fat yesterday. So both Hyogoro the Flower and the future King of the Pirates, Monkey D. Luffy, man. With a straw hat on the back of his, because you know there's a difference in clout, man. Whenever he has a straw hat on head and the straw hat on the back of his head. You know, a straw hat on the back means that he's in fighting form. Straw hat on the top means he's in savage form, but in this arc. Uh, Luffy has been in savage form with, with either it right here or right here. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter, man. Luffy's been in savage form 100% of the time. So he looks like he's in fat tank man form. <laughs> Which would be fascinating if he actually does do tank man. But uh, I warned you... I actually, I actually had the discussion with my cousin. That um, he told me, what if tank man uh, has an actual form that has nothing to do with how big he is. Like, we have the Tank Man, the full version, like, after he eats, and after uh, you see that his stomach expands to, uh, normal Luffy, Luffy's stomach expands after he eats a lot. So we had that version of Tank Man, but what about if there's a version of Tank Man that does not have that? What about if, there, if there's an actual, fully offensive version of Tank Man that is extremely powerful, but yet probably maintains, like, the same proportions as, like, the regular Gear Fourth? I don't know, I don't know how that works. But I was like, oh, that's, that's, that's very interesting. We see Queen's eyes popping out of his head, man. I mean, I can't blame him. <laughs> I can't blame him. I warned you that they would notice if you ate too much Luffy Dono. How does that idiot survive? <laughs> Caribou's over here asking how does that idiot survive. By the way, I put some more thought into the whole Caribou joining, joining the crew thing. And to me, he's just going to be a, uh, a member of the Alliance, man. I mean, as much as a lot of us were probably like, yo, Caesar's a massive um, contender during the Straw Hats. Uh, I think that would have been cool. But, you know, with Caribou joining the actual crew itself, I mean, Oda would have to pull some strings. I read a comment last week that me dying. It was like, yeah, Caribou was at the return to Sabari. He, he was at Sabari when all the Straw Hats returned, so he was waiting for the Straw Hats to return, man. He wanted to join right then and there. And I was like, yo, that's factual. That is hard facts. But um, Caribou being right here in this uh, in in this situation at this point in time, you know, with what he said last chapter, really stuck with me. I was like, "Yo, is is Oda really gonna go forth with this?" Or uh, to me, it feels like Caribou is gonna become a member of the Alliance because I just can't see this man being a straw hat unless we we get his n some massive, I mean, one three, not even a like a one eighty. Uh, backstory, man. That, that's just gonna make us fall in love with Caribou. Which I can see, it's Oda. You feel me? So we'll see what happens with Caribou, man. I don't have time for that right now. I have to confirm the truth for myself. Should we tell him that all of his Oshiruko somehow disappeared last night? No, Master Queen is already in shock. We don't know how he'd react if we tell him. Bro, don't tell me Big Mom is already... Yo, Big Mom is already eating the food? She's a savage! A visual transponder snail. At the same time, and then we go away. I actually wanted to see the funeral, man. At the same time, Kuri, Mount Atama, the thief, Shuten Maru's boy. Shuten Mai, I'll take it. Forget what I just said, man. We're seeing my boy Shuten Maru. This is no good. The fire is spreading too quickly. We can't extinguish the fire. Run. This is one of Holdem's lackeys from Bakura Town. He started the fire. I thought as much. Let's go. I'm going to be the lights out of that guy. But Shuten Maru, if we make a fuss in Bakura Town, Kaido will send his army after us. I don't think Shuten Maru cares. You feel me? Shooting Mario probably seems like that type of dude who, when somebody messes with his people, when somebody messes with his folks, he's gonna mess with them back. He's a man of pride. So this is obviously gonna be something that um that is gonna send us right into some chaos. Is when Shooting Mario goes in and he destroys whoever it is that is that that is um that is causing a fuss in Bakura Town. Uh, because this is Hold'em's lackeys, but Hold'em's already taken care of by Luffy, so it's probably somebody else. 
Unless it is Holden again, then Holden didn't learn his lesson. <laughs> and now Shooter Mara is going to lay the smack down on him. So, Curry in a certain abandoned village. Kinemon, Ashura Doji is on, his way back, is, on, is on his way to Bakuro Town. So soon we must hurry in Arashi. The fire turned out to be much, mar much larger than we imagined. It will be fine as long as he becomes the main target of the beast's pirates. This was the only way to get him to make a move. We must find a solution to our plan's setback. Ashura Doji is, essentially to our, is, is essential to our cause. Kuri Bakura Town. This man Hold'em is still out here chilling, bro. After getting pwned, I mean, yo, Luffy smoked a Hold'em pack. I mean, he decimated Hold'em. I mean, he did what, what I do to kids on Call of Duty on the daily. I mean, he pwned Hold'em. Hold'em stood no chance whatsoever. I mean, it was a squash match. It was... I mean, hold him one shot. He stood no... I, I mean, the power level difference between Luffy and hold him, I, it's, it's, it's like this, all right? So when Shujin Maru comes up in like swimwear, do you expect a different result? Shujin Maru's gonna show up in this dude's face. He's gonna look at him and hold, and hold him might, might pass out. He might just pass out. Are you kidding? This man hold him seems like the type of dude that would do what Dopio did in the last Jojo episode. Boss, I mean, he seems like the type of dude. He has no power himself. Who, who's he gonna call Kaido? Kaido? Jack? King? Queen? Queen Sama? Uh, please? I mean, he seems like the type of dude. He damn sure ain't doing nothing. Hold him? Hold the move. If Texas, hold, you better be playing some cards. Because we know for sure in battle, hold him gets pwned. And I don't care if he has a lion belt. You know, lion belt is cool. But hold him? We pwn dudes around here named hold him, man. I'll, I can pwn hold him. I can pwn hold him. I'll, I'll show up in like swimwear. And with this right hand, I'll one shot hold him. That's how I feel about him. But then again, it was the king that one shot him. And we know how strong Luffy is. So maybe hold him isn't that weak after all. But still, I'd pwn him. <laughs> I'd pwn him. I read the flower capitals lively today. Turn on the filming pond snail. Yes, sir. I wanted to inform the capital about Shushin Maru's death in the forest fire, but oh well. Much time of thieves were here. Shushin Maru serves him right for getting carried away with stealing our weapons and food. Yo, man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I bet the flower capitals lively today. Turning on the filming pond snail. So. Now they're about to watch, yo, so this funeral is legit about to be sh I mean, if, it, if it's being shown to the prisoners, then you know for a fact that everybody in the country is watching this. I wanted to inform the capital about Shujin Maru's death in the forest fire, but oh well. So Shujin Maru's already been here, and he already spread. Mount Atama thieves were here, Shujin Maru. So Shujin Maru came, and apparently he stole their weapons and food, and he spread. So, it hold him, hold him never even got a, a chance to, to go out on for a little bit. Ringo, the Northern Cemetery. What's this? There are people here too? Someone does live in- is that Brooke? So someone does live in this house after all. You know, my apologies for disturbing you. Uh, Brooke, what's going on? Where are you? <laughs> yo! My boy Zoro's got a family, dog! I mean, yo, you got Hiyori chilling. I mean, yo, she's sleeping like a bear on Zoro, dog. And then you got Zoro's child, Otoko, just- I mean, slump. And even when she's slump, she's smiling, man. <laughs> Yo, I can't get over Hiyori right here, dog. Kabutosaki straight up. I mean, all up on Zoro. Tell him awesome. Tell him pin pinning him like in wrestling, dog. <laughs> Yo. Hey, man, I'll tell you what. Somebody reads this panel that has never read One Piece before. I'm telling you, never read One Piece before. And they're going to think that that's Zoro's wife and child. I guarantee it. Guarantee Some <coughs> Somebody could make a clickbait video on Zoro and his wife and child. Put this as a co the colored version that, you know, they usually do in clickbait uh, videos. And they put them on there. And, like, you'll have uh, uh, Zoro's wife and child, son. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it, man. Watch out. Yo, Kumurasaki straight up just chilling on my boy, bro. Do you know how many dudes were fiending over this? Were fiending over the thought of this? Orochi was fiending over the thought of this, and he's a shogun. 
my boy Zoro didn't even want it. <laughs> he was, he, my boy Zoro was like, yo, get the black darts off me, luck. Yo, Brooke is shook. Brooke's like, damn, bro, I mean, you've been busy, dog. <laughs> And we know how Brooke's mind works, man. Yo. <laughs> Yo, this page, man. Have you seen Kumurasaki? Have you seen Toko? Wow, a beauty. And then this, the very first thing, I mean, screw what I said before. Screw what I said before. The very first thing, of course, is the pantsu. Zepansu. Right, that, that's the number one thing that my man Brooke cares about. Zepansu. Kia. Wow, it's a ghost. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. Kia. Wow, it's a ghost. Yo, <laughs> of course. Because <laughs> Brooke is a skeleton. Oh, that, that actually caught me off guard. That, that, was a, that, that, was, that was a good one. I see, so that is what people have been putting offerings in front of the well. Yes, Kinemon told me to, to, play, to continue to play the part of the starving ghost. But to, th but to think that your lord, that your Momonosuke's little sister, you're as beautiful as the Coruscants. You're a skeleton, but you have a huge head of hair. I envy you, Zoro-san. I was just sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Zoro immediately denies all accusations, bro. All accusations. Dog. I'm sorry, I was just so cold, but the people of the capital would have died to lay with me. Did you enjoy it? You're pretty chirpy this morning. Yo, -ho -ho! yo, real talk, that's exactly what I just said. I mean, they would have died to just have that one moment right there. And and Zoro was just like, I was just sleeping, bro. I mean, she decided to come on me. It, you, you, know, you know where my mind is. My mind's only on one person. My mind's on Kuina, which later I'll be Tachigi. You feel me? Because that's the way Zoro's, Zoro's mind works. But th that's just the way life works, used most of the time, man. Person who doesn't want it gets it, so. But Zoro, bruh, <laughs> this man denying all the accusations, and then he decides to be like, hey, man, you're pretty chirpy this morning. You're talking too much. Yeah, get, get, get all that junk out of here. This man, Zoro. So as I was saying, I went to the bathhouse in the capital yesterday to meet up with Nami's son and the others, but they weren't there. Moreover, there's a huge commotion in the capital today. A giant crowd was gathered for the funeral of the Kurosan Kumurasaki, the most beautiful woman in Wano. Not only that, the great thief who stole money from the rich and gave it to the poor, a man called the Witching Hour Boy, has been caught. So now the commotion has grown even more. The Witching Hour Boy? No way! Yo, Kumurasaki shook! It seems that nobody knows his true identity. Supposedly, he lives in Ebisu Town and is quite... Why did that not click? Why did that not click? The most beloved. We saw what this man was doing last week. Bruh, why did that not click, man? It should have made sense from the moment that I saw it. It should have made sense from the moment that I read the chapter. It should have made sense. From the moment that I went, from the moment that I read last week's chapter, it should have made complete and total sense, man. Actually, I still have last week's chapter up. The Spark of Rebellion. Hold on. G give, me, give me one second. I, I gotta I, I, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I should have known that it was him, man. I should have known it was Toniyasu, bro. I should have known that it was Toniyasu, bro. It was like right in front of my face. It made the most, the most sense. It made the most sense. Especially after what we saw in the last chapter. And all the build up and the lead up to it. It makes sense. Supposedly, he, I should have known by the title. <laughs> I should have known by the title. Uh, beloved there, uh, something Yasu apparently is... What, you mean Tony Yasu? Yes, that was his name. What? That's my daddy. What? Oh, no, I'm sorry to be the very bad news, but he is said to be executed today. What? Wait, Toko, you can't. Daddy, they will kill you too. Daddy. Yo, old Toko said, screw it. She said, I'm out of here. They ain't executing my pops. Not on my watch. 
Not on my watch, dog. Yo, and I mean, you know, after last week, I had put so much doubt into my own mind about Tonoyasu and why it is that he does these for this people and why Oda made it seem so grand. This man is so near and dear to them that it just almost seemed like it was too perfect, like he was too good. But after reading some of your comments and the way that you were telling me that uh, the fact that he sent Otoko out was for protection. Like he was willing to sell his own daughter because he knew that he was not able to pay for it due to the fact that they're out here starving almost each and every single day. He said, I'm gonna give her a better life, man, in the capital. And whenever I saw it from that perspective, I was like, good God, man. I mean, the amount of, I mean, that's a sad story in of itself. You feel me? He might not ever see that child ever again. And the fact that he did that for her sake was beautiful to me. And I was like, man, that, that, that's why I love doing YouTube because I'm able to see the comments like that. But, yeah, then you see Toko right here because you know that Otoko uh, knows and inside she feels that love for her father. I'm going after her. I'm truly thankful for you to you for saving his sister now. And then Komorosaki is going after her now too. Now when Toko gets there and Komorosaki gets there too, they're going to know she's alive. And now this whole thing's going to be turned on its head. This whole thing is going to be turned on its head, man. Wait, you idiot. We're unable to protect her before, right? And then we see Zoro get up. Ah, but wait. Oh, uh, wait, I, but, but I just came here from the capital. Wait for me! So Komurasaki's heading back over there. Oh my god, man. Yo, this is, this is about to be crazy. The flower capital, Lady Komurasaki. The courtesan. One of those nat country's national treasure. No. They have a casket with her face on it. But they're not actually showing anybody her face. I was wondering how they were going to handle this, but this actually makes a lot of sense. I do not want to see this kind of courtesan procession. Why are you heading towards the Rasetsu district? This woman defied the Orochi. She will be taken to the Rasetsu district to be cremated as a criminal. Ebisu town. Look, that's the front of the prison. Tonyasu is being crucified. Why is this happening? Tonyasu was the witching hour boy? Yasu. It seems that Tonyasu was a thief. What does that mean? I have no idea what's going on. Isn't he a saint? I remember that hairstyle. Him being a thief is the least of anyone's worries now. Facts! Hard facts. I mean, I should have seen it. I should have seen it. We all should have seen it coming. Wait, who is he? He is Lord Yasui. In the past, he stood, along so he stood alongside Lord O- Stood alongside Lord Odin? As one of the daimyo of the Kozuki family. Bro, my man is beyond important. He was sitting side by side. So that means Otoko... Oh, to go just as important to this country as, as Momonosuke, bro. I mean, not as important. But on the same tier, he was the daimyo of Haku, my house. Yasu the Hedgehog. Yo! Yasu the Hedgehog? My boy was out here, gotta go fast. Gotta go faster. He was a strict man back then, but now he's barely a shadow of his former self. Yo, this man went from Hiji Kata, shout out to my Gintama fans. This man went from Hiji Kata to Kondo. He really did. This man went from Hiji Kata, current to them, a strict man, to, con to, to, to Kondo, man. Uh, real talk. That old guy? Rosetsu District's prison. Stop, but let him down, officers. This man is legitimately being crucified, bro. Lord Yasui, thank goodness he survived. Let him down. Let Lord Yasui down. This is a disgrace. This week is golden... No, bro, don't, don't let this be the last page. No, it's not the last page, thank God. Lord Yasui, Lord Yasui. Well, ha, so I have not been forgotten. Your efforts are useless, everyone. Orochi will never let me escape. But I must apologize to all of you for two reasons. And I have one thing I want to tell that idiot Orochi. Once I have said my piece, I can finally leave this world with a smile on my face. Yo, what is this man's final words about to be, dog? And we see Toko coming in, Komurosaki and Zoro behind with Brooke. And that's where it ends. <laughs> oh my god. And then we have no chapter next week, man. Tono Yasu. Yasui, man. So he's gonna say, I must apologize for, to all of you for two reasons. And I have one thing I want to tell that idiot Orochi. I can't wait to see what he's gonna say a little bit. But what this is gonna do is, this is going to allow, or 
with him speaking, it's going to prolong his execution. Because, of course, he's going to say these things. Orochi's going to get really, really pissed off, I'm going to assume, at what um, uh, Yasui's going to tell him. So Yasui's going to tell him whatever it is that he wants to tell him after explaining these two, or apologizing for the two reasons. And then we're going to see uh, pissed off Orochi, of course, wanting to take him out. That is going to lack security because they're going to be focusing on executing y Yasui. And then we're going to see the actual Komurasaki and Toko show up. I don't know if they'll make it in time or if they'll make it... If they won't make it in time. But regardless, they're going to see that Komurasaki is still alive. That is where all this is heading towards. It's going to build up enough time to where maybe even Yasui himself is going to be able to see that Toko and Yasui for the last time before he dies. If he dies. If not, then he lives and then we continue on to tell the tale. But it looks like that is what Oda is, is building up towards here with having these two reasons and that final thing he wants to tell Orochi. It's going to allow enough time for Toko, um, Komurasaki, Zoro, and Brook in order to make it here. Which is going to be very, very interesting because now that Zoro is going to make it here as well, um, and Zoro is a wanted criminal in the Wano country, how are they going to react to that and how is he going to handle this because he is injured? Uh, well, then again, Zoro is always injured, so uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, flipping... 20% Zoro against all these dudes, probably fodderize him anyway. But it's going to be interesting to see how Oda decides to handle all this. And I'm really excited. Like, this is just showing me that the funeral, or this entire portion, it truly is how Oda wanted, or what Oda's been building up to in Act 2. And this is going to be probably Act 2's big moment, big key thing that's going to push us directly into Act 3. I think that's safe to say. Because if you have even the, the people in Udon prison watching this, I mean, everyone in the Wano country is watching this go down. So something huge, something massive has to go down that is going to set this entire thing into motion. Because now everything's going to put, be put into chaos. Shujin Maru, is gonna, it, it, Kaido's army is officially going to try to go after him now, is, is, is what we're expecting. Law is going to go after Beppo, which is going to turn it, excuse me. That, that reminds me, Law is coming here too. <laughs> Law, Law is coming to the Rest of Two District too, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to have a lot of big key players showing up here. And with Zoro and Law and Brooke, Komurasaki, uh, yeah, all of these individuals right here on film saying certain things to where everyone in the country is watching, something huge has to go down, man. Something massive, something beyond huge has to go down, and it's going to push us directly into Act 3, and that's going to be really, really excited, because this is the big point. This is a key, huge moment in the Wano arc. So I can't wait to, say, I can't wait to see what Yasui is going to say to Orochi specifically. I mean, I want to know what, he, what he's apologizing for, but I really, really want to know what he's going to tell Orochi, because that's going to be huge, because Orochi has a very short temper. And then going back to the hilarious interaction between Hiori and uh, Zoro that was great that <laughs> that was fantastic it's whether Brooke was there too with the way that his mind works that made it even 10 times better that was absolutely hilarious that was that was some good stuff and then um of course seeing everyone else uh, Luffy's in in fat tank man or not not in tank man but he's in his his huge state after eating food so we'll see how that turns out for him on his end uh, we see that apparently Big Mom is already here and has already devoured the food that Queen loves so that's gonna be i can't wait to see how that develops because now the queen is not gonna have uh his thing that he loves to eat like what how is he gonna take his anger out on somebody is he gonna go and try to get some more like what is he gonna do because now that his food supply is out of the thing number one thing that he loves to eat he's gonna be pissed i mean uh, that's just the way that we work as humans like our the thing that we want to eat is not there we're gonna start throwing hands so i can't wait to see how queen is gonna handle that situation if not if, if we're gonna because, like I said before, this is looking to be, this is looking to me like we're going to get the climax of both of these threads at the same time. The funeral and Udon. Uh, specifically, the Big Mom arriving and having some sort of confrontation between all three with Luffy, uh, Big Mom, and Queen, or whatever's going to happen there. And then, of course, what's happening at the funeral is going to happen at the same exact time. It's going to be huge. It's going to be massive. And maybe even Kid will have some sort of surprise... Um, appearance and or moment uh there at the end of, of act two but we're definitely heading towards the climax of act two man this is a very very fun chapter i still I, I can't express enough how much i love that color page 
um, shout out, you know, Luffy's, they're, they're all looking awesome in this, man. Luffy's looking awesome, Robin's looking amazing, and so is Nami. But, uh, Brooke, Brooke, I think Brooke is the MVP of this color page, man. <laughs> this man, Brooke, is a troll. But overall, from the beginning, right here, with, uh, with Orochi, and that's how mad he was, man, the fact that, uh, Yasu was still alive, and the fact that he wanted, now he wants to make an example of them here, uh, Kyoshiro's gonna be there as well, man, that's gonna be huge. So, overall, a really, really fun chapter, setting setting forward the motion and what's going to be taking place here for the remainder of Act 2. So, I'm really, really excited to see what's going to happen both in Udon, now that Big Mom is there. She's just not directly in front of them. So, now that we have that and though, and, and all of those stones set in motion over there on, on, on the Udon side, now we're seeing what's going down over here. Komodosaki will make it there, Otoko will make it there, Zoro will make it there, Brook will make it there, and then we already know the laws on the way there. So all of this stuff is culminating, and I just can't wait to see where it's going to lead us into Act Three. Like, what a to me this was an this is an amazing chapter to leave off on our break because now we can theorize how it's going to impact the rest of Act Two. And what it is that Yasuo is going to say? What what about what happens after he says it? Um, will we get a confrontation between something like Kyoshiro and Zoro? You know, I've been waiting for that the whole arc, man. This one small little moment between Kyoshiro and Zoro, ooh, uh, that'll be nasty. I mean, Brooke could scare off all of the people there by himself. If people see a walking skeleton, they'll be shook. <laughs> they'll be mad shook. So, but overall, man, really, really fun chapter. Definitely enjoyed it. Cannot wait for, like I said before, what's gonna happen next. Uh, we're continuing to build up towards these big moments here in the funeral. So I'm looking forward to seeing how everyone reacts to all these situations and all these moments and the fact that everyone in the in Wano is watching this. It's going to be crazy. Because now they're going to... Uh, whatever truth gets revealed here, whatever revelation happens here, is going to be it's gonna be able to shake the entire, uh, the entire island of Wano. Everyone will know whatever gets spewed here because they're on camera. Somebody could even let something leak, like an Orochi or uh, Komorosaki could say that she's Hiori on live television. Um, you know, they're, 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 they're going to be shooting, man. It's, 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 they're on a live mic. So whatever they say there is going to be a hard shoot, and everyone's going to take that word for truth. So it's going to be wild, man. Because, like I said, Queen is, is going to know about it. Because in the Udon prison, they also have one of these things, too. And then whatever Queen knows is going to get to Kaido. And, I mean, Kaido's technically watching it, too. Because Kaido is the one that told Queen about the whole thing in the first place. So, whatever is learned here, everyone's going to know. So, that's why I'm saying that this is going to push the arc into a brand new... Or not even, I don't know if it'll be a brand new direction. But it's definitely going to push it forward. Excuse me, into motion. For sure after this so i look forward to seeing how how oda handles that man i cannot wait to see how oda handles that but that's why i'm glad that we have this one week break in order to digest and really think about this situation man i'm hoping to do a live stream sometime next week so we could talk about one piece man and uh, our theories for the future of the arc and uh, what's happened so far and whatnot so I uh, look forward to that. I definitely want to do that uh, sometime soon before the next chapter comes out. But I hope everybody has an awesome sauce of a day. And I know Avengers Endgame uh, is out this weekend. Um, so, and I know a lot of a lot of you are going to go out and see it, man. Just remember, uh, try not to spoil uh, people. Uh, I know a lot of people have, still haven't watched it. I myself haven't watched it. So if you're one of those lucky individuals that have already watched man, please try to keep the excitement to yourself for a little while. While everyone's, or while at least your friends are able to 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 watch the greatness because i'm pretty sure that i mean this is an event that's been leading up for 10 years so it's gonna be a huge event for uh, a lot of people and then of course we have um the new one piece episode this weekend which is going to if i'm not mistaken cover the rest of chapter 905 just based off of what i saw in the preview the reason why i didn't do a reaction for the last episode is because it was mainly flashbacks even though the stuff they did with akainu was great and the stuff they did with sengoku was great um, I feel, it just felt like, uh, based off the preview, I, did, I didn't want to do a reaction to it since it was mainly going to be a recap that we already saw. I mean, it, it literally, it was no reanimated visuals. It's just taking the same, the same exact stuff that we saw back during Impel Down and just putting it into the episode, which is fine. 
as it's uh, definitely something to catch up the casual viewers here in the reverie. But next episode is going to be really good, so I'm looking forward to that one. I think I'm going to react to that because it's 905, and I can't wait to see how they're going to handle that emotional moment with Shiro Hoshi in the anime. Uh, that, that was one of the, my favorite moments of the reverie arc. Uh, with Shiro Hoshi finally being able to see all this stuff above the sea, man, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. So I cannot wait to see um, all of that go down. That's going to be a fun weekend, but I'll see you all next time. Have a awesome sauce of a day. One Piece greatness. I hope, once again, live stream for the One Piece greatness sometime before the next chapter comes out. Just keep an eye out for that. Uh, make sure to turn on the notification bell for that very reason because YouTube just put out a thing just recently saying that if you don't turn on the notification bell, um, that you might miss whenever like uh there's like there's like a live stream or an upload or something like that because they said even people with notification bell don't get those notifications sometimes so <laughs> people who don't have the bell on damn sure and getting the, the the things so if you want to stay updated for the stream uh, make sure to turn on the bell uh, for uh, right next to the name so that you're notified whenever the stream goes up because I know a lot of you have told me that you don't get notified when the stream goes up and now I know why it's because you need to turn on the bell and, and sometimes like YouTube said even when you do have the bell on and, and, and they know it's an issue but they don't fix it that's just classic YouTube but anyways enough of the ranting man I'll see y'all next time very very fun One Piece chapter can't wait to see where we're gonna take this just remember if you see a clickbait title out there saying Zoro with his wife and child you heard it here first man you heard it here first I'll see y'all next time I hope everybody has a blessed one <laughs>